Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spy Daily Challenge Runs. This is October 18th, 2018 and we are about to play as the Ironclad again. Now, I know I complained that there was too much defect and not enough Ironclad, but now there's too much Ironclad and not enough Silent. Where's the Silent? Without further ado, we are jumping into this. We have 11 wins and 6 losses. That is a total of 17 runs done so far. Specialized, Hoarder and Nightest. Hoarder is great. Mind Blast means we insta win this run. The scores aren't screaming Mind Blast to me right now. I'll notice you even though I'm not the senpai you're speaking about. Doesn't look like a Mind Blast run if I'm just looking at the points uh, from the top here. It's not high enough to be Mind Blast. Mind Blast would have been around 1,400 points, but... Uh, 1,300, 1,400 points, so that looks pretty good. Night Terrors is great. Specialized depends what we get. Obviously, it's five cards. Five copies of a single card. So we get, it's like uh, just five random cards gonna add. Is it colorless cards or normal cards? I'm not entirely sure. Um, Horror is just great because of, as I said, Mind Blast, um, Dex. It's kind of bad on the Iron Cat, actually, now I think about it. Mm, this will be interesting. Iron Cat's um, Horror is not as good as Defex Horror. And the Night Terrors is just, uh, I love Night Terrors, so there's nothing wrong with Night Terrors. Let's jump into it. I'm not going to waste too much time on the intro stuff here. We need 1,204 points to that top 100 spot, which is, of course, what we're going for. My good friend Samsung Games, this is a horrible daily. My good friend Samsung Games told me that today's daily is weird. So I can see why. Five barricade cards we do not want. So we're going to immediately remove them all from the deck. Literally just going to straight up go to the, every single shop and every option we get. I'm just going to remove all these from the deck. Because we do not want five barricades okay it's not part of the card system that i would like it to have so uh, i'm gonna block twice and i'm gonna hit once i guess not that it matters oh this is awkward five barricades are so bad for us man if we got rid of one so it's one less back you know it's the only way oh my fucking goodness you know it's the only way barricade is good for us oh we have 15 barricades because of hoarder okay so we are fucked in other words we are actually fucked. Okay, so I'm gonna have to readjust everything. Because I'm actually gonna die to the first ones on the first floor. Is this what's gonna happen? We have 15 barricades on our deck because we do not. Oh my god, okay. Oh, we can't remove cards because of water. Okay, so. Mm, now I understand. I now understand. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it, game. It's gonna be a hard daily. This daily's gonna absolutely fuck us. I need card removal here, please. I need card removal more than anything else. Not curses, card removal. Relic's fine too, but I would have preferred card removal. 15 barricades. 15 barricades. One of them upgrades because one of them is gonna be barricades. Um, 15 Barrow, okay This is not good This is really, really bad for us At this point, just try and stack up as much blocks as you can So we can try and get through this fight without fucking dying So we have a very high chance to just lose this daily before this daily even starts, and that's a big problem. Hit a barricade, hit of course it hit a true grit. Why would it hit a barricade? Okay, we're gonna we're literally gonna die now, by the way. We are actually gonna die in this fight. I I didn't like obviously if I knew there was gonna be 15 barricades, I would have definitely approached this obviously different. We did by the way. Just FYI we literally just died. Um so it's a stupid daily. Awesome. Great. So now I know why my friend uh Samsu Games. I like to I call him my friend, but not really my friend. I mean, I want to say it's a friend, but I don't know if I would insult him or something. So 15 mime loss. 15 mime loss. Oh, there's no removing the cards. That's not happening. We can oversaturate the deck. That's the other option. Just add too many cards to the deck to worry about. That's the other option. This is, a, this is, the, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my whole life. This is actually the most disgusting daily I've ever seen in my entire life. I've actually never seen something this horrible before. This is a joke. This is an actual joke of a daily, by the way. Thank you so much, uh, Slay Aspire. I really appreciate you giving me the biggest joke since the game was invented. This is an unwinnable one. 
There's only only one way to win this one, and that is to oversaturate your deck with a shit ton of other cards that you don't care about, and then draw actually join to those cards. That's literally the only way to win this daily. It's still, you know what? I want damage because uh, we need ways to kill people. This is great. Just sacrifice the, we get some max HP, lose a barricade. When the when damage okay so when damage cards come up immediately use damage cards don't care about the barricades on the early turns straight up go damage as soon as you can so that you have the potential to kill here so we got 14 barricades left in the deck Warcry is super good it's it's definitely offering um and it's boomerang. So we just added three offerings and three boomerangs. So that's pretty good. The three offerings is good. All you can do here is you can oversaturate the deck. That's that's the only option you have to if you want any chance of winning this daily. That's the only option you have. Just oversaturate your deck with cards and uh, basically pray. That's, that's all you can do here. It's very it's a very stupid daily. I think it's really dumb to uh, add this many stuff to the deck uh, I'm gonna up start upgrading offerings offerings are gonna be extremely crucial on this daily dude this is horrible by the way I just want to point that out this is uh, this even this fight's awkward for us um, I think what you do is you start trying to sink as many barricades as you can out of your deck and then um, get as much block as we can of course we only drew Barricade, so we couldn't do what I wanted to do, but it's okay. We didn't even get damage block, we got five block, it's fine, I guess. It's time to offering. Okay, defend, sword boomerang, leave, and strike. I wonder if this was a uh, go for more damage early strike. Like, you should have uh, prioritized DPS. Could be. Uh, you know what? Put. Oh, this is. Okay, I see what the problem is. I want damage here, by the way. As much damage as I can get as early as I can. This is very, this is a very crappy daily. I, I get it. I understand why. I was not forewarned. I wouldn't say forewarned, but I was just told that you know today's daily is going to be an interesting one. And I wasn't entirely like convinced. I was like, okay. I don't think it bothers me too. Much. It's going to bother me too much. Of course, it immediately bothered me. So you know, that's what I get, I guess. But uh, yeah, if it. Look, it would have been a fine daily. Like, this daily would have been absolutely fine. The only thing that we needed was to not get the, um... Was to not get 50... If we got 5 barricades, I could make this daily work. 15 barricades, this daily becomes a lot harder to make work. That's all I'm saying. There's just too many barricades. That's all I'm trying to say. We start with this. Get rid of that. Um... I'm gonna go for a... Offering. You gotta go cleave. You gotta go cleave. You gotta go sword boomerang. You go war cry. Put that back. You take a cleave and this fight's over. Okay. Just done the clips. As I said, all you can do, the only strat we have that's potentially gonna save us here is just, as I said, oversaturating the deck to infinity and beyond to a point where we have so many cards in our deck that the barricades show up no, like a normal amount, you know, instead of a over exaggerated amount. That's that's the only potential strat we have to kill uh, to win this run. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna oversaturate the fuck out of this deck until this deck gets to a point where I feel it's like completely unstoppable. Because that's honestly, in my opinion, the only way we're getting ahead of the curve here. So I used both my cards, which might have been bad. I might have needed those for the upcoming boss, but at this point, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? 45 block, we won't take any damage in this fight no matter what, so... I wish we had a heal of some kind, that would be great, but we don't. Three metallic are great. If we can just... Ooh, I need cleaves. Oh, beautiful. If we can just make it to the final boss, uh, we can just make it, like, past this first floor. We need to play skill. Skill, 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 skill. Not a, uh... If we can just make it to the final boss, I think we have a chance. But the thing is, we have to make it to, um... 
the boss, which we did. I would love to only barricade here, but you know, obviously the one time you're gonna want to barricade, the game's gonna be like, uh, no. Uh, There's no reason to pop that army up. Uh, I don't need to pop that. I'm just gonna go full damage here. The one time we would have wanted a barricade, of course we're not gonna get a barricade. So you know that is, I guess, how things go. So I'm gonna pop the player armor, I'm gonna pop the armor, I'm gonna upgrade the the metallicize. I'm gonna upgrade the barricade, play the barricade, play the metallicize, and then play the um. Top of I want to do some damage. I would have loved to vulnerable there, but it wasn't an option. So we're gonna take like 80 something damage right now, but it's okay. The armaments, the pommel strike, the pommel strike, the armaments, whatever I guess, doesn't really matter. Awesome, we're gonna take a lot of damage here, but it's okay. Uh, you pop metallicize immediately, you pop an offering, you pop a metallicize, you pop a offering, you pop a ghostly armor, you pop a cleave, the strike, a defend, and the strike. That's the only way to handle this right now, it's just play everything you can play as whenever you can play it so he's going to what is this this is the it's not attacking he's doing an unknown i'm gonna actually pop a barricade just to thin the deck slightly because i've got too many barricades right now and i need to get rid of some because of this exact reason as you can see mm, i'm gonna just keep doing it for now i just want to try and get start we can build up a ton of block this way as well as uh just chill so I'm gonna go for the Thunderclap into the Bash Blade to split him. 262 HP people are a problem, but you know we're getting 12. We get literally 12 armor a turn, so in that way, I don't actually care. That was a great turn for us. Okay, so we win the first floor. The thing is, like, where, where the big problem comes in, right? So I did die already, so I, I did technically lose this daily. I understand that. I'm not pretending I won this daily or that I'm gonna win this daily you know i lost the daily straight up but i lost it because i didn't i wasn't aware of what was happening you know what i mean i didn't actually understand uh that i got 15 barricades i got 15 barricades i would have chosen a completely different path i would have gone for a completely different strat i would have just taken different cards um i obviously found out immediately on the first room but at that point i had a kind of already invested in my um i'd already invested in my run you know i'd already been like okay well this is what i'm going for so you know let's commit we don't really have much other choice here, but that's the first four done at least, so not too horrible for us. Uh, it's one who's emulate, not even a question to be asked. Uh, empty cage is beautiful. We moved two barricades. Beautiful. So we've we've taken our barricades down to eleven. It's not bad. We just want to move whenever we can and keep saturating the deck with as many cards as possible. That's the only way we're gonna win this. It's literally the only way we're gonna win this. Uh, I still think there's a way to win this. Don't don't misunderstand me for one second. I do believe in myself. I'll knock you down, I guess. Uh, I do believe in myself, so I believe that I can win this run. Maybe I should have gone for the block there, actually. I mean, the barricade play there. That might have actually been the one time the barricade play was the right play, but, you know, I already made my choice, you know. As they say, you lie in the bed, you lay for yourself. Look, I know that's not exactly how that goes. I'm going to pop this. I don't want to knock him down. I want all three of them on the ground. They hit way, they hit way weaker. I take this damage, etc., etc. You guys get the picture. So you just uh, pop a offering. Oh, oh, I actually want to pop an offering, but pop, whatever. Barricades pop two case on me. I don't pop us and then pop this, this, and that will take care of it. And let's move on. So as you can see, once you just get past that uh, opening part, once you understand what you're doing, and you can get past that barricade part, it's a really easy run. It was just I. It took me a few seconds to actually realize where I was like, excuse me, what is going on right now? Because I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. So we wouldn't mind upgrading a singular, a couple of barricades where we can. But it's not a top priority for us at all. It's actually like a, it's actually the opposite. It's exactly a non-priority for us. No, honestly. These guys can run away for like here. But, you know, if a Watson Call would be so generous as to show up for us, a offering, we could just kill them all. But, you know. Don't ask the impossible on a status spy run game. Give me a card I need to do stuff? No. Really? I think that's a bad idea. Because he's going to run. There's nothing to do about it. Where's the offering? <laughs> I went through like half of my deck and didn't see an offering. I mean, we only have three offerings, so I guess it's fine. But it's also a little bit of a problem. Um, yeah, power three is fine. Three power threes are fine. 
Let's get two box and I'll take uh take energy potion. I don't need the entrench, we don't care about the block that much. Like the block is actually just the the, the at this point the block is just the trap, right? The block is just there to be like, hey, go for me, I'm a block, and you're like, ooh, block, and you go for it, and then you die, and you're like, wait, why did I die? I don't exactly understand what's happening right now, you know? Because that's what the block is. The block is literally just that. It's a trap. It's a trap card. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. They're warning against it. We got enough block now to and barricade up, so we probably don't have to worry about anything else in this run. On this fight specifically, armaments up the defend, pop the defend, end of turn. So you guys can buff all day for like here because it's not gonna make a difference. Armaments up the armaments, armaments up all of it, play the cleave, play the war cry, hopefully get a we'll put emulate back once damage. It's just frustrating that it took me it just took so long for me to understand what was going on that I unfortunately took a lot of damage. I took a, a, I lost the first daily. We could have won that daily, no doubt. I just want you guys to all know I know that I could have won that daily. Because I could have. And uh, it does annoy me slightly. Happen. So we actually got a pretty low block at that point. We got all the way down to 14 block. I didn't think we would get that low. But I guess she's buffed them twice. It's kind of a lot of buff, man. Kind of a lot of buff. Uh, what crane? Let's just put the K back. Um, ah, let's end this fight. I'm kind of over this now. I'm not really in the mood for it. Sweet. Okay. So, infernal blades are definite. Uh, elite. Fuck yeah, I'm fighting elite. You think I'm not gonna fight elite just because we got a, ho a horrible looking, scary motherfucking deck? You must engage. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna first pop the cleave, and then I'm gonna pop the madness and hope it hits. No, I should pop. I popped the man hoping it's a barricade. It did hit a barricade, that's great. It'll pop a defend and I'm gonna pop a explosion potion. And I'm gonna not pop another one. It's fine. I'll take damage. As long as we don't fight in this fight, that's all that really matters. And it should it should be fine. Then we'll upgrade the emulate. So no doubt pop the energy potion now, pop the emulate. Pop the metallicide. Pop the true grid, give it a barricade. Pop a I hope for offering. We didn't get offering. We got a power through. It actually would have been way better for us to take the power through. But I didn't know I was going to get a power through, so. But it doesn't matter. As I said, like, it really, really doesn't matter. So, and pop this. In front of base, great. I can play for free. And free clash. Now we're going to take one more damage, but I don't really care. So this, run, this run was definitely winnable. It was just, as I said, I, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, officer, I swear. Uh, I'm going to take the entrench now because it showed up for free, whatever. And that's exactly the type of shit I was hoping would happen. Wow, wow. And I'm a happy, 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 happy boy now because every single part of my deck is upgraded, which means every single barricade of my deck is upgraded, which is amazing. Because it lets me do shit like this. Okay, let's go. I want to block. Oh, I'll block this one. I can't outblock this guy. I need to understand that. So I mustn't try. But it's still tempting, guys. It's very tempting to try and outblock. I'm gonna walk out. I'm just hoping for a no. Okay. Let's put the entrench back and play the bend. There you go. I uh, really need an offering to shop here soon, or I might be in a little bit of trouble. The photo blade's pretty good, though. It's a rampage. It's not as good as I was hoping. Tell us, I'll pop. I'll pop a cleave. And then I'll pop a power through. It sucks that the one doesn't die because the one not dying means we take a fuck ton of damage. Almost enough to die here. Uh, Infernal Blade. Pop an Immolate. Pop an Anger. Are we just dead? No, we're not because of our lucky play on the Metallic Sacrifice. We need to kind of kill this guy right now, right here. Which is uh, very hard because, as you can tell, we kind of can't use Offering right now. So if we don't draw an attack next turn, we just do die. We did low. I'm just going to do it funny just to be cute. Can't even offering, so we need to draw an attack next turn too. But we got 54 block, like I don't ever see us not going getting through that block. I don't know, I need like uh, a reef or something on strength. Hmm. This arm could be good, three this arms could be good. We can make that work. Obviously racing up to full here. We're gonna go down by five max HP, but I don't I really don't care at this point. Uh bup bup, murky hourglass. We get to upgrade a card here, which is great. 
I mean, offering seems like the best bet, right? Offering. Armament also seems pretty good. Probably should be offering though. More card draw is just good for us. The more cards draw, the better. Um, yeah. Six curses. So we our curse problems are solved. From here, we upgrade more cards. You could start upgrading barricades and pray, but that's so like, ugh. It just feels so not worth it to do that. Uh, man. I guess we can upgrade a single barricade. Just make sure you don't ever remove the single barricade that we upgraded. The mind lost. Oh, I really thought you were gonna die from that, but whatever. That sucks a little bit for me. But hopefully, it won't matter. Okay, so we did kill that guy, and uh. I'm gonna take a lot of that, it just sucks. I mean, and by a lot, I mean we took nine, so. I really didn't actually care that much. Um, uh, more metallicizers, the more the metallicizers, the better for us. So a lot of our one is going to come down to us obviously drawing into the metallicizers. I'm not going to deny that fact. The fact of the matter is that is the fact. The facts are the facts, and then I can do it. I'm going to go war cry, so I can put away the K because the K is going to annoy me. Actually, I should just purify purity, the K. Purity now these barrages. Okay, uh, pop the metallicize and the true grit to get rid of a trench i think that was the best i don't know so we got 27 blocks so it's like three we bought, we bought ourselves like six turns uh three turns three to six turns something like that i'm not entirely sure uh we should have done the least hp which is they're all the same pop this more defense pop this keep the lane the decay i guess we bought ourselves like three turns i think depending how much block we put up every turn but we bought ourselves like three turns oh now we're fine Okay, beautiful. Go like this, pop it on Entrance, Entrench, sorry. Play this, play Ghost of the Armor, play Entrench, play a Strike, and we will not take any more damage. So I'm not going to bother popping off, I'd rather save the HP. We will win this fight before we take any more damage, guaranteed. Well, I'm saying guaranteed. I actually can physically guarantee it, which is kind of cool. I don't think many people can physically guarantee many things, but I can, so. I'm physically guaranteed we will not take more fights. So we have, like, there's definitely a something here. There's definitely a something here. It's not great, but there's a something here. If we can make this something work, we'll find ourselves a good place. How many strikes do I have? I don't think I've been adding strikes at all to the deck. Ah, uh, add some pommels, I guess. Yeah, not a lot of strikes. Body slam is super good. What am I thinking? Uh, Smith, we should upgrade the last offering, I think. I think that's the best play here. This guy's a problem. Oh my fucking goodness. Okay, so we got super lucky opening hand apotheosis. You actually don't get better than that, by the way. So you must just be very grateful and not ever complain about anything for this type of human lives on Earth. Okay, beautiful. Next turn. Uh, pop the almonds into the size. A little bit of an unlucky turn here because I'm actually going to lose the perfect. I know you guys, like, you actually think about perfects in this run. In this run, you think about perfects? Now, you know, that might be confusing to some, but not to me, baby. Not to me. I'm all about that perfect lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So we don't have any block right now, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I'm just going to do this and... I mean, I can body some zero damage, but it's not gonna matter. Uh, we need some block cards. <laughs> Where is all our blocks, guys? I know we have blocks in the deck. Just give me some blocks, baby. Come on. I, still, I don't want to die in this, you know. It's still the... We do not want to die in this fight. For no reason type of situation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's kind of But we're gonna take a little bit more damage. It's okay. We just need to get a couple of metallicizers out. Get a couple of blocks out. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Like, this is perfect. Go like this. Get so like that. Like, yeah, actually that I guess. Then you go power through, defend, and entrench. You don't play, you could play a ta uh, attack there, obviously, but at this point we don't need to, so why, you know? Does that make sense? You don't need to play attack, why play it? Mm -hmm. Play another one of these, another one of these, go another one of these. As I said, I, I knew we would win this run. I knew that all we needed to do was just make it through this run. That's all we needed to do, and then it went. And I knew it, but I the first run where I insta died, like right. I, I mean, how how quick did I die there? In like the first three seconds of the run, I think, something like that. We died like immediately, and that is simply just because I didn't understand that it was a barricade run with order. I obviously knew it was barricade run with order because I saw the word order. You know, I can't uh, pretend I didn't, but. I did. I saw the word Horda and I was like, oh, five cards and Horda. But then I, when we got the um, when we got the card, I was like, 
Oh, cool. We got a fucking what's my call it card. Yay! And I didn't care too much, but you know, it just is what it is. Impervious is beautiful. Uh, pick up and add five cards to the deck. You no longer rest. Uh, I just want to add five cards to the deck so I can saturate the deck some more. Pommel strikes are great. Body slams are great. Uh, Havocs are great. Uh, Toon strikes are great. And uh, can I skip this? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Time Lord. He's kind of annoying, but not too much of a problem. Lead to lead to lead. Lead to lead. Okay, so we got two leads in that path. Probably one of those path. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So as you, can, as you can probably tell, I'm not worried about this run at all. Like. I, it's not that I'm like, oh, we got a free win. It's gonna be easy. It's not. It's nothing like, oh, remember the car we, Okay, the car we put on top is gonna be played for free. So do this, and then we can have off and play for free. Now, yes, I would have absolutely adored, and I do mean adored, a uh, barricade on the opening hand there. But you know, what can a man do? They, they give me a barricade. They don't give me a barricade. That's the options here, baby. That is the options they give me. And I need to live with it. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this, I guess. So, so I got the barricade out, but it's like, it doesn't matter. Beam, beam, beam. The fact of the matter is, like, the one thing we can never change is the fact that we did die. <laughs> like, no, I should play the upgrade bomb check. Uh, we did die. We literally died. And that means we basically we lost today's deadly. So th th I can't be like, oh, we won today's deadly. No, no, no. I need to remember that this was a loss. Even if we win now. The fact of the matter remains that this was a lost daily, so... Um... I'd rather take the madnesses here. I was thinking about the rice, because they're great, but I don't need them. Upgrade a card, remove a card, and upgrade a random card. Beautiful. Remove a card, remove a barricade, let's move along. We upgrade a fin, it's beautiful. Let's move along, buy shop stuff. Uh, bloody thing. Mummified hand is exactly what we needed. Don't have the money for it, it's a little bit unfortunate. Whatever, we're moving along. Um... Ah, fight elite, it's fine. Uh, Trevor the Boss, let's go. It wasn't, it was one of the easier choices I've had to make in my life, so I don't mind at all. One turn. Play barricade, two turns. Uh, omens, upgrading the madness. Play the madness. Burning pack, let's get rid of this. It's five cards played, six cards played. Seven cards played and uh, pop the vulnerable on him and go. Okay, um, I think that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Not a great first turn. Oh, no, honestly, it was just the average first turn. 30 incoming damage. It's a little bit more than I anticipated. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really didn't expect 30 damage. It's nine cards. Uh, it's Cards. Okay, remember, we were super strong because of Apotheosis, by the way. We did not get Apotheosis, so we're not super strong this time. All our cards are just normal. So we're not... Oh, shit. I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see it. You had a turn. I mean, that was bad. I don't know what I played there, but... I'm assuming whatever it was, it wasn't great, so... The only way... Literally, the only way we beat the Time Lord was by out-blocking him. So it's going to require a lot of specific cards to show up, which are not happening right now, obviously. As you can tell. So it's a little bit awkward. I might die here. Actually. If I die, it will be because obviously I uh, did something I shouldn't have done by going for the. It's kind of hoping that exactly would happen. Oh, I would have really liked to have played them for this. So yeah. We're not dead yet, but we're super close. This is great. Uh, offering is fine. Armaments. Body slam. Uh, play Burning Pact, get rid of this. Armaments, the other body slam. Final Blade. Final Pact. War Cry. I need a block, as well, it comes down to don't have one. Body slam, body slam. Fuse Fire. Oh, we, we did anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, are we actually gonna. No, no, we did. Uh, we don't, well, we'll be on one. Wait, we'll be on one. Right? Yeah, one HP. Nice. We can play one card now, turn it. Interesting. Uh, probably pop it the pen and end up. I don't know, just we didn't get any of our blocks 
Uh, none about metallicizers. One, two, three, four, five metallicizers. Punch power three is none about that. So we lost this daily two. So we lost this twice. But yeah, 15 barricades is, is very hard to work with. Do you need... I shouldn't have jumped to the boss. I should have just carried on exploring. I would have maybe won the one there because I could have uh, fixed the deck up a bit. But basically what this does is when you start with 15 barricades, which I ended up with... 10 barricades. When you start 15 barricades, it pushes you into on a back foot. You get put into this position where you're like, okay, now I need to start working my way back. I need to start working back into this. So I need to... So you're starting on a, on a negative. You're like literally at a, at a loss. So it's like, I've got a 35 card deck, but no, sorry, 25 card deck, but 20 or 15 of those 25 cards are unplayable for the first floor. So your entire first floor where, where you're supposed to build your strength, you're supposed to fight as many elites as you can, get as many relics as you can, add all the good cards you can to make a deck that's strong, it, it, it instantly becomes a worse deck, a, a, a harder situation. That's, that's really unfortunate. Uh, it's a re it was a very bad daily. I think s what they should do in the future specialized should not count should not activate Hoarder hoarder should not activate and specialized is what I think it is now. I think there's potentially a mind blast deck in here somewhere. I Took two Kit by the way because I was kind of hoping we get mind blast to show up Because then we're gonna get three mind blasts. No, we wouldn't we'll still get one because two kit which is good. So we get one mind blast and hit like 130 and that could have like really pushed us through the one but i mean uh, jumping straight to the final boss here is obviously a mistake don't jump to the final boss because you know i literally skipped why i skipped one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i skipped nine nine rooms i skipped nine rooms and one of them was a chest and the chest sort of obviously was i like this new layout by the way it's very nice i lost when we made it to the fifth floor and we died so but that was just because i actually had no idea what, I, I completely spaced i was like wait what Oh fuck! 15 barricades, and that's when I was like, okay, we need to change our playstyle. It's not; it's definitely winnable. If I had to do it like uh, two or three more times, I definitely, I'll definitely get a win. Um, obviously, jumping to the boss. I think we only lost because I jumped the boss. If I didn't jump the boss, I think I had a chance. I think I could have pulled this one out because we could have still got to, go to shops and bought cards and relics we needed, as well as we got a free relic from the uh, upcoming chest. Who knows what they really could have been to save us? But this daily sucks. This is not a fun daily. This is not a great daily. This is a shitty daily. Specialized should not activate with Horda. Horda, sh Horda should be whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional cards. Whenever you add, so they give you the card options and you pick a card or you buy a card. You start the run with cards in your deck. I'm not adding them, they're in my deck already. You know what I'm saying? It says start with five copies of a single card. So I'm starting the run and I have these cards. Then, whenever I add a card after the start, because you obviously have to start the run, you know, to activate Horda. That's how I think it should be. But that's not how the game sees it. The game sees it. As, and I mean, this has paid us off in the past. We've got specialized with um, Horda and... Um, what was the other one? We specialized Horda and Insanity. And then we got like a 200 and something damage Mind Blast. So I mean, we've and we came like fourth or something. So, you know, we've definitely benefited from this. So I can't complain completely. But I think this was just... I think lots of people were going to struggle today's daily. Um, I think I placed a what lost. Uh, okay, I shouldn't have placed top 2,000 on a run I died on the 5th floor. I guess everyone died on the 5th floor. Oh, well. For now, thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Spy. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps a lot. I'll see you on the next episode of Spy Days, which will hopefully be a funner one that does not suck as bad as this one. Thanks for watching.